Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us continue with the today's question and before continuing with the question So as I said that I had a Session with my juniors at SRM University. So I have uploaded the recording as well So this session covers a lot of basic question general question that we have in doubts while we study uh, The BTEC in our college days, right? So we I have answered many of the questions I have taken some mock interviews as well given them feedback as well since they were the students of second year so i could not ask much question to them so yes so those are the bunch of uh, questions they asked and i've answered them so it may be useful to you guys as well uh, so do watch it okay so today's question is about the symmetric tree we have been given a binary tree we need to check if it is symmetric or not whether the binary tree is a mirror image of itself or not right okay so what is meant by mirror image so let us see let us assume that you have been given this test case which consists of 5 1 2 and 2 right so you need to draw a mirror here at the the line coming from the root right a vertical line and you need to see that if the fashion of the nodes or the structure of the nodes in the right subtree if it is equals to the left subtree right for each and every branches and if that is true then you have to return true right similarly if you draw here a vertical mirror so you can clearly see the root node overlaps to itself 10 and 10 matches this 20 and this 30 do not matches right similarly for this left children the left of 10 would be null and null and 20 do not matches right so that is why we have false here okay so this question ko kaise kar sakte hai? how we can approach this question so we're going to use a stack here so now there are two methods here one you can do recursive way se kar sakte ho. So, but I'm skipping that approach. I will explain you the iterative one, right? But again, once you have done this uh, iterative method, do try with the recursive as well uh, by yourself. So, we're gonna use here is a stack, right? We're gonna use here a stack. So, what was need? What was the stack? Use kar rahe, dekho. Kyu kar rahe? So, once we are at the root node, once we are at the root node, what we need to compare? We need to compare the left subtree and the right subtree, right? So, let us take the very smaller case like let's say you have 5 10 and 10 right so what i'm saying is that you push the right children and the left children so what you will write as in code in in perspective of code is you will make a stack you will say st dot push root dot let's say left hmm. so you push the node root dot left and then you push root dot right okay so what is the left node it is 10 so i push 10 and what is the right node it is 10 again so i push 10 again right now while a stack is not empty we will do some things we will keep on popping out the nodes the two nodes at once because at every time there would be one left shell and one right shell to be compared right so i will pop two times i will store the first node in let's say t1 i popped it out and then t2 and again i popped it out right it's 10 so if i draw the tree again if i draw the tree again 5 10 10 then you have 20 then you have 20 and then you have 30 right now you can clearly see that this node is getting compared with this node right if you draw a mirror here and this node the right children of this 10 is compared with the left children of this 10 okay so that means here will be some bunch of if condition and then we have to push the nodes again so what are the if conditions so i am writing some five cases or four to five cases for you you need to coded by yourself right so what would be the cases let's say the root node was 5 and both the children are null right now the second case would be that one of the children is null and another is not null right and like this the left is not null and the right is null so these two cases can be handled by the same if case and then the root data are different and then the root data are same right please pause this video here try to think that what would be the return values for all these four cases okay so i think you were able to figure out for the these three at least very easily so if it is null and 10 definitely the nodes are not matching and i will say the value is false similarly here the nodes are not matching and i will say the value is false and here the nodes are matching so i will say the value is true now for this case you can clearly see the nodes are matching but i can i say true here can i say true here right so for this clarification let us make one more example let us make one more example or let's say you have a tree 5 you have left and right child as 10 and 10 and then you have this as null and this right child as null and then you have this as 2 and this as 3 
राइट सो अगर मैंने यहाँ पे ट्रू बोल दिया होता है इफ आई जस्ट सेट इफ द नोट दैट इज कम्पेयर फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट एंड राइट इफ इज नॉल जस्ट रिटर्न ट्रू लेट्स आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट आई एम रिटर्निंग ट्रू सो विल दैट बी विल दैट गिव अस द करेक्ट आंसर नोट सो लेट इज लेट इज अगेन वेरीफाइड सो दिस टेन एंड टेन इज इक्वल नाउ द नेक्स्ट नोट दैट वुड बी कम्पेयर कम्पेयर विल बी दिस नोट एंड दिस नोट राइट तो अगर मैंने कह दिया होता कि देखो दोनों तो नल है अगर मैं कह दिया होता कि रिटर्न ट्रू तो क्या तो सो इज इट एक्चुअली ट्रू फॉर दिस केस इट इज नॉट बिकॉज दिस थ्री एंड दिस टू विल नॉट मैच राइट एंड फाइनल आंसर वुड बी फॉल्स तो मैं यहाँ पे ट्रू नहीं कह सकता आई कैन नॉट से ट्रू इफ द बोथ थिंग्स आर नल देन वॉट कैन आई से आई जस्ट हैव टू से दैट आई कैन नॉट डिसाइड एनी थिंग ऑन दिस इटरेशन सो इफ दैट द केस वी जस्ट कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम यूर वाई एम सेंग दैट इफ दिस इज नल I cannot decide it until I have seen the other nodes. So again, this node will be compared. I will just say, just move on to the next iteration, and the next iteration, the compared nodes would be two and three. And now I can say that the nodes' values are not matching. It will fall in this case, and now I can say my the final answer is false, right? Okay, so I have given you all the test cases, and that's the way you solve a tree question. You always think in terms of the smaller test case, and then you code it, right? ठीक है सो वट आर द केसेज वट आर द केसेज दैट वी हैव पॉप्ड आउट वी हैव पॉप्ड आउट द टी वन एंड टी टू सो वी हैव पुस्ड लेफ्ट एंड राइट राइट सो दिस वॉज योर लेफ्ट एंड दिस वॉज योर राइट दिस वॉज अलग से दिस वॉज योर लेफ्ट दिस वॉज योर राइट वैन आई पॉप्ड इट आउट दिस वॉज नेम्ड एज टी वन एंड दिस वॉज नेम्ड एज टी टू सो टी वन टी वन इज पॉइंट यू राइट चाइल्ड सो टी वन इज हियर एंड टी टू इज हियर सो वट वर द कंडीशन दैट इफ टी वन इक्वल्स इक्वल्स टू नल राइट एंड एंड T2 is equal to equal to now. We just saw we cannot comment on this either. It will be true or false. We need to compare the rest of the iteration. So I'm just saying continue, right? Let me write down the, all the cases, all two cases, and then we can proceed. Okay, so I have I have written down all the cases. So let us go through it one by one. So we have covered this one. Why we have written this? Then what is the second case? If the, if one of them is null, then definitely you have to say return false, right? That's what we have discussed in this case. and then if the data is not matching then also we have to return false that the tree is not symmetric now when i said that this was your t1 and this was your t2 right i know so what are the next value that is to be compared t1 right should be compared with t2 left so that means i need to pass these two nodes together in this stack so i'll just stay stack dot push again t1 dot right and stack dot push t2 dot left right because if there is a mirror standing in the in the vertical direction then definitely which are the nodes to be compared this 20 and this 30 and this 20 is nothing but t2 dot left right and this 30 is nothing but t1 dot right so that's why i have push these nodes at once together or let's say now the next node to be compared because every node has two children right so this node would be compared this 20 and there is one null here So this twenty and this null would be compared, right? So this twenty is nothing but t two dot right, and null is nothing but t one dot left. So I will just say again, st dot push. This time I will say t one dot left, right, and st dot push t two dot right. Got it? So let's just complete the dry run for this case. So what will happen again? So after this, after this, what will be the values? that to be put in the stack so we put t1 dot right and t2 dot left so t1 dot right is nothing but 30 so 30 would be pushed and t2 dot left is nothing but 20 so 20 would be pushed and again t1 dot left is nothing but null and then t2 dot right is nothing but 20 so this would be put this would be put right again the two nodes will be popped out right and both the children have the value as null right Okay, both of its children. So twenty children would be null, and this is null. So again, this falls in which case that one of the nodes exists, but other one is pointing to null, right? So definitely, at this moment itself, I can just say that this tree is symmetric. So I will just say return false or symmetric, right? Return false. I do not need to go ahead with the rest of the iterations, right? So that means till when we are doing all this work while our stack is not empty. So I'm just write while stack is not empty. This is how we can write in Java, right? And if everything happens and nothing uh, got uh, uh, nothing got uh, 
अगर ये इफ कंडीशन में एक बार भी नहीं चेक हुआ राइट सो दैट मीन्स एवरी थिंग इज फाइन आई जस्ट हैव टू सेट रिट ऑन ट्रू करेक्ट ओके सो दैर इज द इंटायर सूडो कोड एंड द इंटायर ऑल एट से ऑल द केसेज वी कैन थिंक ऑफ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्वेश्चन नाउ प्लीज पॉज दिस वीडियो हेयर ट्राई टू कोड द सोल्यूशन बाई योर सेल्फ इन जावा एंड दी प्लस एंड देन वी कैन जूम हेड विद द फाइनल कोड सेक्शन सो आई होप यू आर एबल टू डू इट एंड दैट्स द जावा कोड द सेम वी हैव रिटर्न इन सी इन द सूडो कोड द सेम वी हैव डन इन ड्राई रन सो मीन वाइल इट इज कंपाइलिंग एंड रनिंग सो वट इज द टाइम एंड स्पेस कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी राइट so what are we doing here is that we are always visiting each node once so it will be o of n as time complexity and what would be the space complexity so we are using a stack as well right so what is the space complexity it may look like you o of width of the tree but it's not width it is height of the tree. height of the tree so how can i say that here so agar dekho what are the values that was compared here 20 and else and let's suppose this value got matched right let us suppose that this null was not there and 20 was there so definitely what would have done that would have again pushed its left and right children in the stack so again if all the values matches again so you would have pushed its another children right so you can clearly see that we would be pushing o of height of the tree right in this stack and that's why o of h is the space complexity okay okay so we have done this question in java let us switch back to c++ code so again it's the same as we have done in java so some syntactical changes are there the null has uh, replaced by null pointer and the dot operator has this uh, hyphen and uh, greater than symbol so yeah that's it let us resume again in the tomorrow's purity this week and once again uh, we will stop this purity this week after day 400 and i will curate an excel sheet that whatever questions we have done in the gfg purity that would be placed uh, uh, topic wise in the sheet so that everyone can practice right Okay then so let us meet again in the tomorrow street till then keep learning keep going bye bye and take care guys